Oh my gosh. I get to be the first person to wear this dress from 1956. Hello my friends and welcome back to The Air Effect. Today I'm going to share with you a huge vintage haul. So definitely stay tuned to the end because I have kind of ordered these things in order of least to most favorite, although they're all my favorite. Let's be honest, I love everything. But you're gonna wanna see the dresses at the end because they are spectacular. So many of you probably know my friend Lacey Faye of The Vintage Girl Next Door. She is here on YouTube. Definitely go down below and check out her channel. She posts a lot of vintage content. She's way more 1950s-esque than I am. But a couple of months ago, somebody came into the theater where she works and let her know that their daughter had purchased a hoarder house. Now this daughter had already had a estate sale, she had already sold everything she wanted to sell and she said that since Lacey really likes vintage and she's like complete vintage all the time, they figured why not just let her come, take whatever she wanted and then they were going to haul everything else to the dump. So when she got there, she discovered that they actually had not put any of the clothes out. There were tons of clothes and they had thought, well, they're kind of mousy, they've been up in an attic forever, nobody's going to want these clothes so we're just going to toss them in the dump. They were going to take these things to the dump. So Lacey messaged me and a few other friends that all live vintage and she said, I'm gonna get these clothes for free. If you want dibs on anything, let me know and I will send them to you for shipping. Um, and because she's an angel, Lacey let me have like a mind blowing amount of these clothes. Honestly, this year has not been the best for my confidence and my body image. I have gained weight. I had a baby. COVID happened. Like all of these things happened that caused me to kind of emotionally eat and gain weight and nothing that I own that I love fits right now. So Lacey was really a godsend. She said whatever I wanted I could have as long as I paid for shipping it was mine. And so over the last few months she's been sending me boxes full of vintage and Every time I get a box, I freak out. Today I got the last box of vintage and I just, <laughs> I had to sit down immediately to film this video because I'm so excited and I really wanted to share it with all of you. And I finally have everything. So today we're gonna look at everything that I got from the hoarder house. These are all clothes from the 1940s to the 1960s, the early 1960s. We're gonna go through this vintage haul that I got from a hoarder house, thanks to Lacey Faye. And, um, yeah. And by the way, I do not have photos or video of everything that I'm going to show you, but I did start taking video in anticipation of making this video. So I do have some video clips that I will show you. I have some photos that I will show you. But of course, I just got the last box today while I'm filming. So I don't have photos of all of those things on. And there is so much that like, I just haven't had time to photograph everything. I wish that I did, but I didn't. So I will show you what I can in video and photos, but the rest of it, you're just gonna have to be happy with me like holding things up and trying to show you as well as I can. Hopefully that's okay. So first of all, let's start off with the dress that I'm wearing. It is this really, really, really cute paisley house dress. It's like a pencil skirt. Um, it has these buttons that remind me of cookies. I don't know why they remind me of cookies, honestly, but I love this dress. Red's my favorite color. So of course I love this color scheme. It's beautiful, it's cotton, it's a perfect like everyday dress. It's comfortable. <sighs> I'm really in love with this dress. This next dress. <laughs> so when I wear things, I'm really bad at like buttoning them, but this is a pastel blue dress with a full skirt. I think this is probably early 60s. Um, it doesn't have a tag, but it's super cute. Here's some photos of me wearing this dress. I actually wore this the other day. This is from the second box that she sent me. And actually, I think I'll wear it a lot because it's comfortable and it's kind of a good everyday dress. So this one is a house dress. It's got a uh, cute little pockets on the outside and these buttons. I would say this is probably mid 1950s and it's probably homemade. Um, again, here's some pictures of me wearing it when I was feeling like a Bond girl. I don't know what I was doing with this styling. This one is a little bit more of a snug fit. It's probably meant to fit loose, but your girl has chunky thighs, so <laughs> it doesn't fit loose. Uh, I really like the texture 
shirt on this one. It's got a really interesting like striped black flecked texture. And it's a zip front, which is great when you're a breastfeeding mom. Now, this is one that I have not worn, but I'm actually really excited to wear it. It is this kind of a coral pink 1950s um, A-line dress, and it's got sparkly buttons. I haven't worn it yet, um, but I'm really excited to have it in my closet because I am notoriously bad at getting solid colors. So I have all of these patterns, and then sometimes it's like, I just need to tone it down a bit, you know? Like, so that all my closet will go together. But I'm really happy to have this. It is really, really pretty and very basic and simple, and I think I will be able to wear it a lot, especially in the spring. So this was a favorite to when I shared it with my friends. It is this pink floral, and it's got this amazing detail. I will put in a photo here if I can find one. Um, it's got this really beautiful detail at the neckline with the rhinestones, and then it's just an A-line. This is another one I haven't worn yet because it's not breastfeeding friendly, and I am breastfeeding currently, so I can't wear a lot of dresses that don't unbutton or unzip down the front, but I will wear it probably in the spring. So this one is one that needs a little bit of repair. It's got a torn... I want to say it's a popped seam, but really it's just, I don't know if that's the fabric or what, but it kind of tore right here at the sleeve on both sides. So super, super cute. It is more of a house dress style with big old pockets in the front and I need to make some repairs. It's got um, a popped seam here, a couple of popped seams on the back of the sleeves, but I really, really love the stripes. It's like pastel blue and coral and green. I think it's so pretty. It will be perfect for spring. Um, and it's cotton, which is great. This next one, I believe I have, uh, well, I know I have pictures of it. I might have video. I will insert the video or the pictures, whatever I have. I didn't button this. This actually, it looks like a plain sage green dress, but it actually has these little thread designs on it. Some of them kind of look like snowflakes, some of them look like squares. And then the button placket is pointed. And I I tend to leave brooches on my dresses that I think look really good with the dress. And I really liked that brooch with that dress, so there you go. But this one I have worn in one of my styling videos. Um, I wore it for the apple orchard look in my fall outfits video, so go check that out. I will try to remember <laughs> to put it in a card up here if I remember, or link it down below. So next up is this fuller skirted 1950s, like, I don't even know what this pattern is. It's navy blue and white, and I am gonna pull this out for the 4th of July, I think. Pair it with a red belt and a red brooch. I think that'd be so cute. I actually think this would also work for winter. Um, when I don't have to breastfeed, I will probably wear it, but um, Lacey was kind enough to say, like, I could just take whatever I wanted, and I just want to rebuild my vintage wardrobe to fit me. I believe in having a wardrobe that fits you no matter what size you're at, and so it was very kind of Lacey to let me say, yes, please, <laughs> let me take these so that I have a wardrobe that fits me. I'm really blown away by Lacey and her kindness and her willingness to work with me and send me these things, and. I cannot recommend enough going to subscribe to her channel. She is one of the nicest humans on the planet. But let's keep going because we have so much to get through. This dress reminds me of fireworks um, or watercolor, really. It is this beautiful, oh, the neckline. The neckline's amazing. I cannot wait to wear this next summer. It's so pretty. And it's got the waist tie with it, which is exciting. And it is like an acetate fabric. And it's so pretty. You'll have to let me know what your favorite dress is in the comments down below because I I don't know. Well, I could pick, actually. I, I have a couple of favorites, which you'll see later. This next one, I actually tried on and then I realized it had a split seam in the side, so I couldn't wear it because I need to fix that. This one also kind of reminds me, it reminds me of like summer flowers because it's got these pretty little pink and green impressionistic flowers on it and it's got sparkly buttons and a little uh, neck snap. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's so pretty. I do need to fix the side. It's got a split seam right here and then I think it might have another split seam somewhere else that I need to fix, but 
It's the perfect little like acetate. I think it might be, or maybe it's cold rayon. It's a cold rayon dress. So this next one comes with a really interesting story. And I just realized it's inside out on my hair. Um, again, I haven't worn this because it's not breastfeeding friendly. But this is a sheer 1950s, probably about 19, mid 1950s Lane Bryant dress. And I don't know if I'm the only one who didn't realize that Lane Bryant was such an old brand. I will have to post a little bit of the history facts here to correct myself, but I, she existed in the 1940s and 50s and she was a maternity brand and then became more of a plus size brand. But this is not the only Lane Bryant dress in here. Um, and I just thought it was so pretty. And this one was new with tags. I actually took the tag off because I washed it, but it had the washing instructions attached. It's never been worn ever. And this is not the only one that has never been worn. So this one, this I really, really love the neckline. It has this beautiful ribbon and like, I don't even know what to call that. It's like a keyhole neckline, but all over the place. <laughs> if you know what this kind of neckline is called, let me know down below because I have no idea. And it is gingham. This, again, I probably will pull out for the summer next year because it is the perfect summer dress. Just imagine this with all red accessories. Wouldn't that be so cute? Um, and I love the velvet ribbon detail. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to wear this in the summer. So next, again, this will be a summer dress, is this cute little green and blue number with this little button at the top. This is, a feels like an acetate dress, um, uh, is a fuller skirt and I can't wait to wear it in the summer. Oh, I'm just so happy. I have really not been feeling myself lately and nothing fits and so this is just, a huge blessing to me to get these dresses. I honestly cannot think Lacey enough. So this is one of my favorite prints because the blue and green roses are just gorgeous. So perfect. Amazing. I love this dress. This I think is actually probably 1940s. It's a lot longer than the other ones. Um, it feels like cotton. It's probably just an everyday dress, like normal wear this around the house dress. I don't know why, but it has a safety pin here and I'm wondering if there used to be a ribbon. But yeah, I just think this is so pretty. All right, now we're getting into some of the ones that she actually just sent me today. So they are not on hangers, but first up we have this Penny's Fashion. So this is from Jay-Z Penny. Back in the day, this is probably 60s. It's a zip front and it feels like a nylon blend. Um, this is something I will probably wear every day because it's different. A zip front is so nice. If you're breastfeeding and you want to wear vintage, search for zip front dresses. Um, Penny's Fashion and Shelton Stroller are two brands that tend to have a zip front. So that's a little tip if you're breastfeeding like me and you want to wear vintage, look for zip fronts. They're great. This next one is probably actually just like a house coat. Um, it's missing all of the buttons, but the shape is very tent-like and it's got the most interesting texture and pattern to it. It's got like all these little circle swirlies on it. Um, and I don't know if you can see that, but uh, if you want to eventually see all of these dresses worn, go follow me on my Instagram, Air Effect. I will be eventually posting photos of every single dress. Or if you would like me to complete the video I started a while ago where I was trying to wear vintage every day for a month, let me know. I could do that. And then you could see all of these things worn. This one is super staticky and I don't like that. <laughs> I, random fact about me, I really hate to get like shocked, like electricity static shocked. I don't like it at all. But this one, this one's super like staticky. I'll have to spray it with some static spray. But it is this pretty blue floral. It's got these really beautiful little buttons. Um, this one has an IL GWU tag on it, which is really helpful and that dates it from 19, what is it, 1955 to 1962. I can never remember the exact ILGWU tags, but I think this is probably an early 60s or mid 60s dress. Next, this is actually one of my favorites. Despite the damage, this is one of my favorite vintage brands. It is called a Princess Peggy dress, and they are usually like really pretty cotton zip.
zip-front dresses. And this is so cute. It is very, very faded all over. The collar is really faded and there are spots all over that are faded, but I'm gonna wear it as a house dress, so I don't really care. And I just think it's so cute. The lavender floral, the print, so pretty. This is probably like a late 40s or early 50s. It's got some big pockets. I do need to make little fixes here and there, but honestly, I will wear it. I will wear it all around my home. I don't really care if things are faded. So this next one, we are getting into like my favorites, the best of the best. And this one is 1940s and it is beautiful. It does need some fixes. It's got some rips under the arms, but the print is amazing. It's so cool. And it's got this really interesting detail here on the front with the ruching and at the shoulders. I cannot wait to fix this and wear this because it's such an interesting dress. Like it's a very simple dress, but just the, the little details really get me about vintage dresses. And um, I think that it will have a nice line to it. It's a very swooshy skirt uh, and it's 40s. 1940s just gets me. Oh my gosh. This next one is one that I know a couple people really, really love. It is this really fun, like, I don't even know what to call this print. It's not paisley. It's like a water, it's not a watercolor. It's like a, you know, when they dip dye things in water or like the, the, inside of old book covers how they're like that swirly print that's what this looks like <laughs> and the fabric i don't know what the fabric is i'm wondering if this is an early polyester it kind of feels rougher than normal um but this is super cool and i'm super excited to wear it there are no problems with this dress it is perfect um I think it's probably 60s, but yeah, this is a really, really cool print and the colors are really fun too. So this is another one of my favorites. And I love the, um, the tag says simplicity dress ups. This is beautiful. I don't know what it is about this dress, but I love it. It's got this gingham, it's got these buttons here, and then down here on the hip, it's got more buttons. And it's got a giant pocket. <laughs> and there's just something about this that I really, really like. It's a, um, not a pencil skirt, but you know, it's a more of a form fitting skirt, but it's just, the colors are perfect. The buttons are perfect. It has a pocket. I just really, really, really like this dress. I cannot wait to wear it um, and style it. And the buttons go all the way down to the hem. It's so good. All right, so this is actually one of the more recent finds, obviously, because it's not on a hanger, but it is this pretty floral cold rayon dress with um, <laughs> shiny buttons. I really, really love the floral print here. I know it's just like a normal floral print dress, but some florals just get me. And I love this one. It's so pretty and the colors are perfect and it's got a long skirt. This is probably a late 40s dress. Um, I just really like it. It kind of looks like the kind of dress that you could wear on a farm, which is, I live on a farm. So this, this print is so cool. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is a late forties cotton dress with a cloud print. It's freaking amazing. At least I think it's clouds. I don't know if this is clouds or pebbles. I don't know what this print is. <laughs> I thought that it was clouds. It's really, really cool. And it actually ha it has all the buttons, but they're not all buttoned because I'm lazy. Um, it does have some staining on the front and hopefully that will come out with washing. I don't know, but I just think this is such a cool dress. <sighs> I'm so excited to wear it. I do need to fix up here at the neck. There's a little bit of a rip, so I will have to fix that, but it's such a cool dress. <sighs> so this is another like, favorite when I ever, whenever I posted it online. Um, and it is this beautiful blue and purple and green paisley dress and it has the original belt. This is one of my favorites. The color is beautiful. I'm so excited to wear this and I just really like it. It's a very simple dress, but it's got a full skirt. It's got a cute collar. It's got everything you would want in a vintage dress, really. Um, yeah. And I, I just, I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear everything that I have. <laughs> I 
just feel like that's all I'm saying in this video is I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But I'm like, I'm so excited. I haven't fit into my vintage in months. And I'm like, <sighs> finally giving me a wardrobe I can wear again. All right. So we're getting into the amazing last few dresses. We will go with this one first. This is a beautiful cotton dress with gold buttons and gold shiny threads through it. This is probably like a late 40s dress and oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And it is my son's favorite because he says the buttons look like Legos. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just such a pretty like, it's kind of simple but the, the gold threads are really amazing in person. Next up is this black dress and I, <sighs> I don't wear a lot of black, which I have said in some of my other videos, like I am just not a the color black person, but this is so cool. It has a brooch with it. I actually had two brooches with it, but my daughter got a hold of one of them and I don't know where it is. And it's got like this checkered detail around the edges, around the buttons, and right here on the detail. This is called a Clayton. It's a Clayton dress. And this is what Lacey said her grandpa would have called a Sunday go to meet and dress. It's a very fancy dress. Next, another dress that I have left the brooch on because I just think the brooch fits perfectly, but it is this beautiful, this is a Cinderella dress, y'all. This is like, it's so beautiful. It is the sheer 1950s, maybe late 1940s dress. Has a full skirt. It's blue and white. It's just everything about it is so perfect. The neckline is beautiful. The, the little like button is perfect. It's got the matching belt. It's just, <sighs> wow. This is one of the dresses that I saw and I almost cried because it fits me so perfectly and it's everything that I could ever want in a vintage dress. So next up, this dress has a little bit of a story. This is a star print 1950s dress. Now, when Lacey was FaceTiming me to let me kind of pick and choose what I wanted, she said she figured this was probably 1970s because the fabric is a very like, it feels like a 1970s dress, which a lot of 70s dresses are like a polyester blend. This is actually a nylon blend. And when I got it, I was looking at the buttons and I was thinking these don't look like 1970s buttons. These look like 50s buttons. And I looked and there's a paper tag on it that says size 22 and a half. And I looked and I said, that doesn't seem like a 70s size tag. And it also looks a lot like the paper tags that they put on in the 50s that were meant to be removed before you wore it. And then I went searching further and I found an ILGWU tag in the seams that dates it from 1950 something to 1962. So uh, this has probably never been worn. It is a 1950s star print dress. Oh my gosh. This is amazing, <laughs> like this, I have never seen a print like this from the 50s. It's actually like a textile, you can feel all of the stars printed onto the dress. It has the matching belt, it has these amazing buttons. It's probably never been worn, it's certainly never been washed because the paper tag is still there. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like, this is one of the dresses that left me speechless. We are down to my last three. This dress is freaking beautiful. It has pockets. It has this amazing, like, detailed collar. And the print reminds me of dandelions. I am in love with this. It's not a particularly, like, amazing novelty print but just something about this is so so beautiful to me I do need to fix the back there's some seam pops in the back but like I don't know you guys have to tell me if you think this is as cool as I do I just I love the way that it's made I love the collar I love everything about it I think it's so beautiful so this is one of my favorites um, especially with the big pockets um, I can't wait to wear it but I need to fix it I'm really I'm really slow at fixing things second to last favorite is this gorgeous 50s or maybe late 40s raspberry print dress with beautiful buttons that are not missing any of the rhinestones everything about this is just perfect this is an incredible dress I am amazed at the quality of this dress. Because it's sheer, I expected it to be broken. <laughs> um, 
but everything about it's perfect there's no rips there's no stains there's no holes it's just it's beautiful and we are down to the last dress which has probably the most amazing print that I've ever owned in my life this is a 1940s lady head print dress it has ladies heads printed all over it that sounds really weird um but hopefully you can see what i mean i have worn this i will put up pictures and video here whatever i decide to do um this is so beautiful it actually has a few little hooks on it i think that whoever made it decided to modify it to be a little more modest so um i can wear it a little more open or a little bit more closed depending but Oh, everything about this dress is perfect, except it doesn't have pockets. This, just the print, the print is so good. Uh, so this is definitely my favorite print out of all of the dresses that I have gotten, um, with the lady heads and the flowers, and it's a really, really flattering dress, and I, uh, I just, I just about died when I saw it, honestly. I was like, <sighs> and I could cry because it's so perfect. But that is it. We are done. I've lost all of my outside light. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been filming. I feel like I've been talking and filming for hours. But that is it. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the things that Lacey sent me from the hoarder house. Definitely let me know down below what your favorite thing was. Mine is probably the lady print dress or... I don't know. I really like the one that I'm wearing. I'm super, super into this. <laughs> So yeah, let me know down below. If you would like to see me wear everything, I can try to make a video where I wear vintage for a month or whatever because I think she sent me about 30 dresses. So let me know if you would like to see a video where I wear vintage for a month. And I will try my very hardest to make that because I think that would be really fun. I think it would really help me gain back some confidence and then you all get to see all these pretty dresses worn. So. Um, yeah, again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Definitely go check out Lacey's channel if you don't know about her already. Go and subscribe. She's amazing. She's one of the nicest people on the planet and she posts lots of vintage gadgets and cooking and just really fun vintage content. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more vintage content from me. Like, leave a comment. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye!